What's up guys? Joma Moves ng Kicks mo to. At ngayon ang i-review natin ay isang um, lifestyle shoe but um, ang tawag ng Nike dito ngayon ay um, lifestyle performance kasi yung um, yung specs niya or yung shoe is based on running models pero mas cater siya sa lifestyle. At ito ang ating um, EXP Z07. Uh, may bago silang line yung uh, EXP meaning experimental and yun nga um, performance driven lifestyle shoes siya. And uh, ito um, the Z07 uh, um, is actually um, parang code name siya ng foam. So yun yung sinasabi dito. So uh, ito yung actually um, take down model. Meron din tayong uh, EXP uh, X14 which is actually the code for React. So they both have uh, similar um, looks or similar aesthetics pero of course yung ito yung upper niya iba yung material and of course this is just a plain um phylon or plain foam so tingnan natin yung review okay so let's start off with the traction so um basically like nung sinabi ko this is uh, more of a um performance lifestyle shoe so uh yung traction niya hindi masyadong heavy um it is based on some of nike's running but it really doesn't do um that much in terms of um, range of motion like going laterals even going straight uh, but basically what we have here is a uh, kind of nub so dito sa bandang harap tsaka sa bandang likod uh, dito sa area na to naka parang naka emboss siya tapos yung sa ano naman paloob yung sa may gitnang part so basically what we have here is a near full rubber um, outsole for durability but basically that's it um, it really doesn't do a lot so uh, if you're planning to use this on uh, for running light runs I would actually uh, advise na okay lang and of course for gym use um, but if you're gonna do lateral sa gym um, or yung tumatakbo ng side to side I wouldn't really recommend it because the traction isn't really made for that um, mostly the traction is uh, really for lifestyle use mga walking around lang ganun ganun Okay, so next we have our um, cushion. For our cushion naman, um, based dun sa um, sinabi ng Nike, the, this is more more or less just a plain um, foam, uh, mostly most likely phylon or some sort of uh, implementation ng phylon na medyo malambot. Kasi alam naman natin, depende sa compound, uh, pwedeng maging malambot or matigas yung phylon, depende sa kung gagamitin siyang carrier na maiba pa siyang um, tech like zoom or ihahalo siya sa lunar lawn but basically um, based on the name you can see it there uh, EXP Z07 that's uh, the Z07 part is just their code name for Phylon and then um, yung mas mahal na ganito or yung mas premium the EXP um, X14 uh, ang balita sa Nike yung X14 is actually the code name for React so that the other one ha actually has React um, React foam for its uh, cushion but here um, based on the design uh, kahit na foam lang to I've used this for um, mild running walking kahit sa mall sa street uh, it's still very comfortable yung uh, foam natin um, so I don't know if it's the molding or yung design niya and if you um, try to um, press the heel nagko compress dahil dito sa mga uh, grooves na to so um, still very comfy kahit na foam siya uh, if you just regular foam like pylon but if you want um, extra instep comfort you can actually change the insole uh, to a more um, to a more comfy one para mas maganda yung instep comfort niyo. but basically even with the regular insole yung parang ortholite na blue okay na to uh, comfy na comfy na siya then, um, what you see here is mostly a um, synthetic mesh, medyo crispy siya, but it does have a little bit of give. And then my, my meron tayong mga fuse areas like here sa may uh, side and then yung sa may lacing natin, my fuse diyan. And then of course meron din tong line na to. Uh, this line actually reminds me a little bit of the Pegasus Turbo, although mas makapal yun, and then it really runs na ibang kulay siya, but this line actually makes it makes this pair of kicks a little bit um more running like or parang pang performance talaga siya although as mentioned it's a um perform lifestyle performance or performance lifestyle model um what i really also like here is yung um tongue part so you can see here na meron yung fuse dito kung nasan nakalagay yung parang numbers and then meron medyo parang 
synthetic leather yung tang niya which gives it a little bit of a premium feel and then meron din tayo nung parang synthetic leather dito which actually shows you the um, name of the shoe the EXP Z07 so it also gives you a little bit of a premium feel although as I mentioned this is actually more of the low end or the entry level um, version nung kicks na to but basically um, it feels good on foot um, medyo maluwang nga lang for me dito sa bandang harap but Generally, I, I only use this mostly for lifestyle and, you know, light, very light gym work like yung todo buhat lang or even um, light running as well, mga between um, 3 kilometers to 5 kilometers na light running lang. So, basically, the material is good. It's breathable, comfortable, and, you know, it's everything na hahanapin nyo sa ganitong uh, classing kicks. And then, of course, may, kung titignan din natin, may konting padding din tayo sa gilid. So, um, like I always say, you pay. You usually get for what you pay. So basically, as an entry level shoe, medyo um, alam naman natin na hindi rin premium yung mga materials like Flyknit and all that stuff. Okay, and last for our fit and support, uh, I actually went with my regular Nike um, size 11 US, but um, basically uh, you could still go half a size down. As I mentioned, medyo uh, well, hindi flimsy, medyo. Um, magaan gaan yung <laughs> uh, medyo stretchy yung material niya. This is actually, um, it can actually accommodate even wide footers. And then, if you want a bit more snug feel, uh, I would recommend you going half a size down. But if you want yung mga medyo laid back na feel or yung medyo loose na feel, you can still go with your regular uh, true to size. Ako, I went true to size kasi nga uh, alam ko na pang lifestyle tong kicks na to. And I, do, I really don't intend on using it uh, in terms of real performance like running hard or going to the gym so uh yun yun basically yung aim ko dito so i just went with my regular 11 and of course for um for the support features medyo wala as i mentioned talagang lifestyle sa so, tingnan nyo kung gaano kalambot tong kicks na to uh, i think the only <laughs> uh, support feature na meron siya is medyo mataas lang yung um heel na part. So, this actually, tong design na to, kin kinuha nila to, to dun sa mga latest na design like yung Zoom Fly, um, Pegasus 35, Pegasus Turbo, yung ganitong klaseng uh, heel which actually provides a little bit more support sa my heel area. But other than that, halos wala ng ibang support features tong kicks na to because as I mentioned, um, it was designed for, for lifestyle use but with um, performance uh, aesthetics in mind kaya ganyan yung itsura niya. So basically um, support wise hindi nyo talaga siya maaasahan so I'd, as I mentioned a while ago with the traction na I really wouldn't recommend for you guys to use it heavy sa gym especially if you're going to do like hit na may maraming movements or may mga laterals kayo. It's something that I really won't recommend. Okay? Thank you guys for uh, watching our review and I hope um, this give, gave you some insight kung gusto nyo bumili ng kicks na to. And ang kinaganda nito, um, naka-sale na siya. If you guys go on Zalora, halos lahat ng colorways naka-sale na. And uh, minsan may additional off pa. So yung 4995 na retail price niya is going to be significantly lower. I think if available pa to, tong specific na colorway na to sa Zalora, 2900 plus na lang siya. So kung may additional 20 off ka sa card or something, na voucher na nakuha ka, uh, you can still apply that on this to get it at a very um, cheap price. But basically, it's a good um, daily shoe. Uh, sobrang komportable niya and uh, it's something that uh, you guys might want to uh, use um, even at the gym kung kaya nung, ano, nung workout nyo yung hindi mas or kung hindi nyo masyadong need yung stability dito sa upper niya. So, yun na, uh, that's it for our review. Thank you guys and uh, of course, don't forget to follow us on YouTube. Subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us with other social media channels like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So, thank you guys and peace out.